Jonah was a wise old man who lived in Israel long, long ago. He was loved and respected by the people. Everybody came to him to solve their problems, and he gave them wise advice. God loved him because he was a good man and he helped his fellow beings. Jonah loved God. He followed his teachings and prayed to God all the time. Nineveh was a neighboring country of Israel. The people in this country were known to be very evil. They did not follow God. They did bad things. They were cruel, greedy, and were always fighting with other people. Because of this, God was angry with the people of Nineveh. One day, God spoke to Jonah and called for his service. Jonah, I have something to tell you. My Lord, I am lucky to be of your service. Tell me, I am listening to you, God. There is a place called Nineveh not very far from here. The people living in this place are evil. They steal from each other, kill their own brothers, and do a lot of other evil things. Their king is lazy and selfish. He eats, drinks, and enjoys himself while his people are starving. He does not care about his people. Their actions anger me, and I have decided to destroy them. I understand, my God. I am well aware of their actions. They are a wretched group of people. They are also our sworn enemies. In 40 days, I will destroy the land of Nineveh and everyone living there. This is my decision. So be it, my Lord. You have told me all of this. But I still do not understand how I can be of service to you. Tell me, my Lord, what should I do to make your wish come true? You are a good and righteous man, Jonah. You have always obeyed me and followed my teachings. I trust you and your abilities. This is why you must go to Nineveh immediately and talk to the people about me. They do not know me. You must speak about my love. You must tell them to change their ways and become good people. Only you can do this. But God, how will I do this? They are evil. They will not listen to me. Also, they are our sworn enemies. The people of Nineveh are constantly attacking us and waging war against us. They try to steal from us and harm our women. That is all true. But still, you must go and talk to them. They will have a second chance through you. If they fail, they will be destroyed. You are their only hope for survival now. Only you can convince them to change their ways and turn to me, the one and only living God. I have complete faith in you. God, you have decided to destroy them anyway after 40 days. Then why should I go there and risk my life? My countrymen will be more than happy to hear that Nineveh is going to be destroyed. They will abandon me if they hear that I tried to stop that from happening. This is my will. You must do this, Jonah. You must leave for Nineveh immediately. Very well, my lord. As you wish. Jonah was very troubled by what God had asked of him. He was happy that God had decided to destroy the people of Nineveh. They were the enemies of Israel. He did not believe that he could change their ways. But then, how could he disobey God? Jonah finally decided he would not go to Nineveh. He got scared and decided to escape from Nineveh and hide from God. Jonah traveled far from Nineveh over the deserts and barren lands. Finally, he reached the seashore, where he saw a ship heading to another city across the sea. He asked the captain whether he could get on the ship. The captain was not happy at first, but finally agreed. The sailors did not know about the one true God that Jonah served and believed in. They worshipped stone and wooden idols. They had a god for the sun, another god for the moon, another for the ocean, and so on. Jonah saw this, but he did not speak anything. He went and slept in the lower part of the ship. Jonah was fast asleep in the lower part of the ship. Once the ship had traveled a short distance, the ship got caught in a great storm. They were tossed around in the water like a paper boat. Everybody on the ship was very scared and began to cry out loud to their gods. 
men on the ship were surprised to see Jonah sleeping peacefully while a great storm was raging outside. Hey Jonah, wake up, wake up. How can you sleep like this? There is a storm outside and the ship is going to be torn apart. Wake up and pray to your God. We have been praying to our gods for some time now, but the storm is continuing to rock the boat. No, this is the work of my God, the one and only true God who made the whole world. Did you do anything to make him angry? How can we stop this storm? I tried to hide away from him. He gave me a task, but I refused to do it. That's why he's angry at me. Now what should we do? There is nothing else to do. You have no other option but to throw me off the ship, and then the storm will go away. My God will leave you alone. No, we cannot do that. You're a good man. We don't want to harm you. Let us try to throw some of the cargo out and see if we can keep the ship afloat. The sailors started throwing out the packages loaded on the ship one by one, but the storm did not go away. There is no use in doing this. Throw me into the water. Save yourself. I hope your God keeps you safe. When the sailors realized that they had no other option, they threw Jonah off the ship into the sea. And like a miracle, the storm subsided. The sea was calm all of a sudden. Just at that moment, a big whale came up and swallowed Jonah. Jonah was scared like never before. He was in the dark and cold. There was a horrible smell around him. Also, it was slimy and all kinds of things were floating around him. It was then that he realized that he was inside a whale. Jonah could not believe this was happening to him, but realized that God was doing all of this. Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the whale. He prayed the whole time to God. He was asking for forgiveness and promised that he would never try to hide away from God. Jonah would lose hope from time to time and thought he would never see daylight again. He thought about the foolish things he had done. How could he believe that he could disobey God and hide from him? This was so stupid of him. Alone in the cold, dark inside of the whale, Jonah became very sad. But he called out to God, and it gave him strength. He believed that God would keep him safe. On the fourth day, the whale opened its mouth and spit Jonah onto the beach. Jonah was relieved to see the light of day. He had been inside the dark belly of a whale for three days. Then God spoke to him. Jonah, you cannot hide from me. Whatever you do, I am with you all the time. I am so sorry, my lord. I realize now how foolish I have been. Tell me what I can do to make up for this. Do as I told you. You must go to Nineveh and complete the task I gave you. They are evil because they do not know me. They have not heard of my teachings. They deserve a chance to change their ways and become good. I will do whatever you ask of me, my lord. I shall go and speak to the people of Nineveh about your undying love. This time, Jonah went to Nineveh as promised. He talked to the people about God and his kingdom. He talked about what had happened to him and how God had rescued him from the raging storm by sending a whale. He showed them why it was important to do good things and be kind to people. He taught them God's teachings and how God was protecting them and taking care of them at all times. He also warned them about God's punishment. To his surprise, the people of Nineveh listened to him. The king heard of Jonah and called him to the palace. Jonah talked to the king about how God was merciful, but that if he didn't change himself, then the city of Nineveh would be destroyed in 40 days. The king asked for... Okay, kids. What did we learn? Whom, whom did we learn about? Was it about Jonah? Yes? Yeah. And then was Jonah a good man? Yes, Jonah was a very, very good man. And then what did God ask Jonah to do? He, and Jonah was always listening to God and doing what God asked him to do. He was praying to God. He was doing good things. And then what happened? God told Jonah, Jonah, go to, 
go to Nineveh because the people that are doing bad things. Can you go to Nineveh and tell these people not to do bad things? That's what God asked Jonah, right? Yes, that's what God asked. God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh. And then what did Jonah do? Did Jonah listen to God and go to Nineveh? Can you all put your fingers, hands like this and show with me? God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh, no, no, show like how I am doing it. Hold your hands like this and say, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. But did Jonah listen to God? No. And where did, where did Jonah go? He went, he went to Tarshish. So all both are in different directions, right? So God told Jonah to go to Nineveh, but he disobeyed and went to Tarshish. What, was God happy with him? Yes, was God happy with him? Or no? No, God wasn't happy with him and God was angry. And then what did God do? God brought a huge storm. Do you know what storm is? Storm is, it's continuously raining, raining. Do you all know what rain is? Rain, right? You see rain and it's all, you should all do the actions with me, right? I love how you guys are doing actions with me. Can you all just get up and do actions with me, how I'm doing it? God sent a huge storm and it was raining and raining and raining. And then what did uh, Jonah tell the people in the uh, boat with him? He said, people, I did not listen to my God. I did wrong things. So God, so threw me into the Water there. Can you all see water? Yes. Can you all see water there? Throw me into yeah. the water and all the storm will go away. And that way it happened, right? All the storm went away and there was no more rain and people were nicely going into the, in the boat. And what happened to Jonah? Jonah was, oh, this was a fish, right? Can you do the fish? Oh, whale. How do you do? Yes. Oh, how do you do? Whale. Ah. And the whale ate Jonah. Can you do? The whale ate Jonah. A big whale ate Jonah. And Jonah was in its tummy. Can you see it's stinking? Bad smell is coming there, right? And then what did Jonah do in the tummy of the fish? He was there for how long? Three days he was in the fish, some yucky, smelly, smelly it was. But then what did Jonah do there? Jonah was praying to God. And what was Jonah telling to God? He told God, you asked me to go to one place, but yeah. God, you asked me to go to one place, but I went to some other place. I did not listen. Just like all the little babies who are here with me, when Papa or Mama tells something, we go and do something else, right? Do we always do what Papa and Mommy say? No. How many of you always do what Papa and Mommy say? No, right? Sometimes we don't do, right? What Papa and Mommy say, like that only. Jonah also did not listen to God. Then, what did Jonah do? He prayed and he told God, God, I'm very, very sorry that I did not listen to you. Okay, I can't stay here. It's stinking. Can you please take me out from here? Right? Can you all also pray? Can you all fold your hands like this? Like how Uncle Jonah did in the fish's whale, uh, in the whale's tummy? Like this, right? And he said, God, forgive me for all the bad things that I did, right? And what did God do then? What did God do? God said, good man, Jonah. Even if you did wrong things, I am fine. I will forgive you, but because you prayed and you told me and you confess that is what confessing your sins mean that you pray and tell god god i have done wrong things and i am sorry and if you say that to god he will forgive you right just like how god forgave uncle jonah and what happened to uncle jonah can you all see here uncle jonah came out of the fish of the, sorry, it's not a fish. Fish is a small thing. Whale is a huge one, right? A huge whale. 
and what did what did uh, the whale do it again opened its mouth can you all open your mouth open the you open your hands like this like how the fish opened its mouth like this and then click, uncle jonah came out of the fish's tummy and then what did he do he thank god for bringing him out right and then he went back to again he went back to minave and then he told those people that see if you don't listen to god he will become angry and he will punish you so you should always listen to god and do good things but if you are not able to do good things and if you happen to do any bad thing you can always pray and god is a good god right is our god good can you all show me your fingers like this if our god is good god yes can you all shout like this god is good and he will forgive me right yes so this is something that you all have to remember that if you do anything wrong or bad and you do not listen to your parents you should pray and tell god god i'm sorry can you please forgive me okay and then he will forgive you just like how god forgave uncle jonah and he just did not forgive uncle jonah he also forgave the people or he has also forgiven the people of ninaveh right did you all enjoy this can we do uh, the bible verse one last time can we do the bible verse Okay. 1 John, can you all do with me? 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, right? He is faithful and just and he will forgive us all our sins say thank you god because god forgives yeah. our sins right say thank you god thank you all children for joining and have a great session at your activities okay